Hi guys, Abs here. I'm going to be taking you through a demonstration of our Bookmark Lovers Enterprise Edition. Um, this system actually supports and works with up to 50 social sites. Um, now the sites consist of status updates, bookmarking sites, um, image sites, so you get image backlinks in here as well. Um, the system actually converts your articles and your posts to PDF documents and it also um, gets you document sharing backlinks or document site backlinks. Um, you get a blog, you get a blog type of backlinks, um, and there's so many more as well. The system actually supports sites such as dlvr.it. Um, it supports sites such as hootsuitscoop.it as well, uh, which are other social hubs um, that actually send off your content to even more social sites as well. Um, now, the cool thing about this software, guys, is you've got one main man management control panel, which is a login area, um, which is the enterprise edition login area. And then you can actually use the system on any WordPress blogs that you have by installing the WordPress plugin, um, or you can actually use the quick post system and actually post over your content to any of these groups. Um, now with the groups guys, as you can see, I've got a number of groups down here already and down here in the connections, it actually tells me how many connections I've got near each one. Um, and um, we can actually have a look at the connections here as well. You can have multiple of the same connections. It's very simple to add your connections as well. We just click on the connection, uh, choose whichever group you want to assign the connection to, add your details in here as well. Now, the super cool thing about this system though, guys, is it, it manages unlimited groups, unlimited accounts as well, um, but the system actually allows you now to treat each group totally independent from the other group, which means um, you can actually have this group, for example, sending your content and spinning it with the best spinner. You can have another group sending your content and not spinning it with the best spinner. Um, you can have one group sending your content um, from RSS feeds, for example, um, and another group not sending from RSS feeds or however you actually want to do it. So you, you can actually look at this now and think of it as having a number of bookmark lovers accounts within bookmark lovers accounts but obviously with the new connections um, and I'm going to be taking you through the submitter in a moment to show you the power that we have there as well but let's take a little um, uh, let's take a closer look at some of the settings that we have within here we can actually schedule our post as well now um, so the way this actually works is um, as you can see here it says schedule post after whatever days so I can have five days three days four days or whatever I want here um, and the way it would work is for example if I have a look down here um, I could have this to post immediately I could have this group to post um, after three days I could have this group to post after say five days and what I will do is I'll actually go to the quick post area or I'll use my WordPress plugin and I'll actually send to three of the groups with the one post so for example I could um, select no destinations there just check the three that I want to work with um, and send it to them three groups um, and what the software will do um, is automatically send over the current connect or the current post today uh, to 35 connections and then after two days or whatever I've got the schedule set up to 43 connections and then after how, however many days to set up to the social hub group. Um, now the advantage of this guys is you can actually have a number of groups here. Um, you can actually have this one scheduled to send now, this one tomorrow, this one the day after, this one the day after. Send your post to all of these and have the software really um, continually promote your work for you um, throughout the week um, or throughout the month without you having to actually, um, or well, without having to actually get everything done in that one single um, submission. Um, so it actually gives you a continuous way of promoting your content, which is fantastic and something that is massively needed um, and the software actually caters for that. Um, so as well as having the schedule features in here as well, guys, um, you can actually work from, um, obviously you've got the best spinner in there as well. You can actually have this new feature in here called Content Fusion. Now what Content Fusion allows you to do um, is for a moment, just imagine if you've got a bookmarking site, guys, um, and you've got that bookmarking site um, or you're sending posts with your WordPress plugin to that bookmarking site. Um, now, if you have a look at your bookmarks in that bookmarking site, you might notice that every single bookmark on that site, or on that site, sorry, or every single bookmark that you've made is all about your own site, which isn't natural, which isn't, and this isn't how bookmarking sites have actually been um, have been created for not just for self-promotion so it's very important that you try and make yourself look as natural as possible and the content fusion allows you to do that what this allows you to do is you can put in yahoo feeds in here you can put in google news feeds in here you can put in news feeds in here from your favorite sites and tell the software every time you submit to this group 
um, or every two posts that you make to this group, um, then you want the software to pick an entry from the RSS feed um, and actually make a post there as well. Now, obviously, we go in much more detail about this when um, when we pass over the software to you, um, but these are just to name some of the features that you've got in here as well. And obviously, you've got your RSS feed as well. So if you don't want to be continually making posts or you don't want to use the WordPress plugin, just stick your RSS feed in here tell the software how often it should look for a new entry and when it finds the entry and obviously it'll work with the settings that you have in here for whatever group that you're working with. Now, as well as having your individual group settings, you can still have global settings as well, guys. Um, so you don't have to have your best bit of details in every single group. What you can do is actually come over here, enter your best bit of details here, um, and it will, it will be activated on every single group unless you opt out otherwise not to use the best spinner. Um, so it's fantastic. You can export your connections, you can import your connections, you can back up your settings as well. Um, it really is a very sophisticated system, guys. Um, but I'm going to take you over to the system now. Uh, sorry, to the actual submitter now. Um, because when you come over to the software, or sorry, when you come over to the members area, you're going to add your connections in here and everything in here. Um, and then you might not need to touch your connections for months to come because, you know, some of these connections down here, guys, they're still active, they're still working, and the system continues to post them month after month. Um, so you might not even want to come and log into the website and however you're still going to need to manage your accounts so the, so the submitter actually caters for that. So this is the submitter, nice and small, um, it works with up to 30 threads so it's grouped threads, you get 10 threads per group. If that doesn't make sense to you guys then don't worry, it just means you can have up to 30 simultaneous submissions at once which is super fast and you don't need to wait for any images or anything like that so it doesn't use a lot of your bandwidth at all. Now then, let's go over. Um, you can make quick posts from within your submitter now. You can actually enter your URL, your title, and your description here. Choose whichever groups that you want to submit to. You can spin your contents from within the submitter as well now, um, instead of actually going over to the software to the website and actually doing it from there. Now, if we go over to settings, we can go to group proxy management. You've got some fantastic proxy managements here as well, guys. Um, oops, just before I um, come over to here, guys, let me just talk to you about the connections as well, because we've got more connections coming. We've got Facebook um, connection coming as well. Uh, we've got the Pinterest connection coming as well. Uh, we also have got, sorry, we, we also have XML RPC posting coming as well. Um, now, what you've noticed down here is sites such as Pixelpipe, uh, Posterious and Seismic, um, they no longer work, um, but not to worry guys, uh, our system is actually catered to actually post to each, um, each one of the connections separately, um, and that's exactly what we're going to build on and continue to do. So at the moment you've got 50 connections, three or four of them don't work, so we've got about 46 working connections, um, and we're also getting Pinterest, Facebook. Uh, I'm going to really try my best to get Google Plus in here as well, guys. I can't promise anything, um, but we also got some new features coming in here as well, which are going to be specific to the actual connections, such as Twitter hashtags, um, which is going to be real cool, guys. Um, and I really want you guys to be part of this. And as noted again, um, this isn't up for sale yet. The only way to get this is by getting it as a bonus. Um, so I don't want you to miss out, and it's only available for seven days as it stands at the moment, um, until further notice, which could be another six months down the line. Um, so anyway, coming over back um, over to the submitter, guys, um, when you want to assign proxies, you've got the option to actually assign a proxy to a group. So you can add a proxy in here. You can import it from a group. Sorry, import it from the list. Or what you can do is actually assign a proxy to your connections. So as you can see here, I've clicked on Big SEO Techniques, um, Assign Proxy to Connections. And what's this, what this has done is actually brought up every single connection that I've got within this group here, Big SEO Techniques. Okay, so we've got 43 connections there. If we have a look down here, it says we've got three big Sonomy ones. Um, if we have a look here as well, we've got three big Sonomy ones as well, which is fantastic. So what I can do, I can actually assign a proxy to each one of these connections within the group if I want to. Alternatively, I can assign a proxy to the group, so I can have a group of accounts all using the one proxy. Um, all I can do is, if I've got loads of groups and I want them all to use a proxy, um, I can actually import a list of proxies here and really assign the proxies real quick here, um, which is real cool. Or you can use a proxy list, so you can have all your groups rotating through proxies by importing your proxies in here, and obviously you add your capture details here as well. Um, now, this isn't all that the software can do for you as well. You can actually manage your accounts in here as well. So, for example, if I click on Manage Accounts, I can pick whichever group that I want from here. So, for example, if we go with the Dig group here, um, I can click on Load Accounts, and what this will do is actually load all my accounts from within the Dig, from within the Dig group, so if we have a look down here, Dig Group, we've got 52 connections. Um, and then what I can do is actually click on Test Account. Um, and what this will do, this will actually try, well, this will go and test our account and log in for us. Um, and you'll actually see that if the account is failed, 
um, then from within the submitter now, instead of actually logging into the website, I can actually delete that website from within the submitter. So it allows me to keep my accounts clean before I actually post to them. It allows me to ensure that my accounts are actually working um, to save any issues with the software, um, not being able to post and making a failed, uh, failed attempt. Um, obviously because your account details are incorrect. So as you can see, we've got a fairly cool um, maintenance of these accounts here. Um, they're all saying success, success, success. I'm just wait, ah, here we go. So here we go. We've got some failed ones here. Okay, site temporary disabled, multiply that is. Okay, so these failed ones here, I'm gonna click on stop now. And what I can do, these failed, I'm not gonna disable that one, but these failed ones here, they're automatically checked. I can click on remove selected. Let's just take a look at the number here um, on dig. That's what we're on there. Um, we've got 52. I'm gonna click on remove selected here. Okay, and that's been removed there. I'm gonna click on refresh here, guys. Um, and when we have a look near the dig one there, we've got 46 connections there now. Um, so it makes it real cool and really simple to actually manage your accounts and maintain them as well. And again, you've got all your reporting features in here as well, guys. So you can actually have a look at your pending details, find out which groups have what pending. Um, you can, it also tells you here as well, your new groups that monitor will actually tell you what group it's working with, how many are actually pending, how many you've got scheduled to get sent out as well. Um, and obviously you can have a look at your post results as well and have a look and filter them by groups as well, which is real, real cool. And best of all, guys, you can also minimize this to your system tray as well. Um, and it will also run while your system, or sorry, when your computer starts up. Um, so obviously, making sure it's doing and processing your work uh, without you having to even remember uh, to do it. Um, so it's real cool guys, we've got some new things coming in here as well, um, which you haven't seen here. We've got the we've got an RSS masher and pinger as well, which gets all of your profile URLs or gets all of your URLs that get submitted or get posted by the software or created by the software, sorry. It mashes them all up into an RSS feed, pings your URL to ensure that your links get indexed. Thank you very much guys and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial.